Olix Network 18, Mission Poshan, Bhavishya Roshan. From, from an, the Indian markets joining us, KK Mystery Vice Chairman and CEO of HDFC joins us on the phone line. Uh, uh, good morning, Mr. Mystery, and sorry to disturb you on your vacation. No, no, uh, morning, Dr. Well, you all have, a, uh, you, HDFC has increased lending rates and so have a whole slew of banks on Friday. What right. does this mean? Uh, right. will, will this impact demand at all? What kind of loan growth do you foresee? I don't see a 10 basis point change in interest rates impacting demand. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have to also understand that there are tax benefits associated with a housing loan. So when you raise the rates by 10 basis points, the actual cost to a customer does not actually go up by 10 basis points. It goes up by about 6 or 7 basis points, mm -hmm. depending on where your tax mm -hmm. liability is structured. So I don't see it impacting demand. And the reason everyone has raised rates is because liquidity in the system has, is significantly lesser than what it used to be. Mm -hmm. And you can see that reflected in bond yields also. And more than that, you can see it reflected in the fact that liquidity has really slowed, has really sort of uh, become very, very tight. Okay. Mr. Mistri, good morning. Uh, this is Sonia here. Uh, morning. What is your expectation then with respect to what the RBI could do later this week? I mean, everyone's talking about the possibility of the rate hike. You think the central bank could be preemptive given that, you know, we have worsening macros? I would think that there is a reasonable chance that RBI can uh, increase uh, rates by about uh, 25 basis points. There is a possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, whether RBI will do it right now or wait till the next credit policy is tough to say. But a couple of things you must bear in mind. One is that, uh, in, that, that, that your monsoon outlook seems to be fairly good this year. Mm -hmm. So that should not be too much of a worry. On the other side, we have rising oil prices, which have clearly put been a big dampener for India because we are such a large importer of oil. Mm. And also the fact that uh, U.S. interest rates going higher means there has been an outflow of funds out of emerging markets and more so out of India. Mm. So we've seen so much of uh, overseas money going out, both in the form of debt instruments as well as in the form of equity. So that has caused some degree of liquidity strain in the system and RBI intervening in the forex market by supplying dollars mm. further reduces that liquidity. So in that sense, it is push its reduced liquidity and therefore is pushing interest rates higher. Okay. Uh, well, just one more word on this then. Do you think that more rate hikes can come since the cost of money in the wholesale market has just shot up? I mean, Nabad, Sidbi, uh, none of them are able to raise money. Yes, interest rates have shot up, so therefore one has to look more at other avenues of raising funding at a time like this rather than relying only on the bond market. So we are looking at other alternatives also besides bonds. Mm. We are focusing more on a retail deposit, number one. Number okay. two, we are focusing also on some kind of external commercial borrowing. These are a couple of things, and plus you must remember we raised equity some time back. Mm. Okay. Since, uh, so that has also mm, helped. helped. Okay, Mr. Mistri, since we have you with us, I just wanted to understand whether you believe that the economy is in a cyclical recovery. I mean, a lot of experts tell us that, uh, the, the, you know, the twin shocks of Demon and GST have now been dusted off. But what's your own view? Oh, absolutely. There's no question of a doubt about it. If you see the micro data that's coming out, co corporate earnings are a lot better than what they used to be. GDP numbers are better. So overall sentiments are a lot better. So there's no question of a doubt that mm. the... Micro data is clearly showing the significant okay. recovery. Okay, so you know, just to come back to the, uh, you know, how much more of, uh, uh, how much more can the cost of money rise, say, in the next one quarter or two? For you, I mean, can you no, raise no, no, right. MCLR by what, uh, ten more bips, twenty-five bips more? It's very difficult to answer because it's purely a function of how you will be, how funding cost is going to pan out over time. We'd obviously try to raise, diversify our funding sources, which is what we've done consistently over time. Rely more on deposits, rely more on other avenues of raising okay. funds, maybe masala bonds, maybe international funding. Okay. So to that extent, we will cushion the impact of the sure. bond market. Okay, one final question. Um, we are given to understand HDFC Bank is seeking shareholder approval to buy more loans, uh, acquire more home loans from you. So is that first of all true? And secondly, therefore, you must be very confident of your own loan growth numbers. How much would they be? Well, I can't comment on loan book growth numbers, but if you see last year, HDFC Bank did not buy any loans. Okay. So the on-balance sheet loan book growth was 23%. 
but mm. we've always guided investors towards the AUM growth. And the AUM growth on individual loans was 18 percent. Okay. So whether HDFC buys loans or not, does not buy loans, the AUM growth does not change. Okay. So you should look at the AUM growth. Now, what they did not buy last year, in all probability, they will buy this year. Oh. But that will not alter the AUM growth. Fair enough. All right, Mr. Misri, we let you enjoy your vacation. Thank you very much Thank indeed so for joining Thank us. You.